I'm David Levin, and welcome to another delicious episode of Pop Goes the Culture, the behind-the-scenes stories of your favorite shows that you wouldn't have known unless you were there. Today, the conclusion of my eight-part interview with the great Anson Williams, better known as Potsy on Happy Days. We'll talk about some of his other experiences besides Potsy as a director and an actor, working with the legendary Betty Davis. And we'll talk about whatever happened to Richie and Joni Cunningham's older brother, Chuck. Which Chuck Cunningham? Exactly. There were, there were two. Um, when the series first started, Chuck was Richie's brother. And there, was, and there was a very good actor. But for some reason, it wasn't working. And they thought, well, maybe it's the chemistry. So they bring in another actor. Didn't work. Finally, they thought, you know, we just don't have room for this character. So one episode, Chuck never existed. He was gone. Maybe a couple of phone calls through the years, that was it. But I mean, never mentioned again. Even as much, uh, even on the last episode. Uh, even on the last episode. Tom Bosley says, we have two children. We have two wonderful children. I always wondered if he meant, we have two children who are wonderful, or we have two wonderful children and one schmuck who never showed up. No, he was, it was it, 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 no, it just never, it, it just, they just dropped it. In fact, on the Happy Days special, re reunion special, they, they brought both Chucks back. Gavin O'Hara, Hilly, he's doing great. I mean, he's a great actor living in England. I mean, he's doing fantastic. In fact, he was in Willow that Ron Howard directed. And then the other guy, um, he's, I guess he's doing some other profession now. Big, he's big now, big guy. Glad I was nice. Good. Rod, Miles. Here was something, it was, it was an interesting story. I didn't, it was, it's a film I produced that Ron Howard directed and I created called Skyward with Bette Davis. And, um, it, Here's, here's, um, <laughs> here's this icon, right, and she, 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 we came, she came to the set, and we're, we're in um, Texas, and it's like blistering hot, and she goes, she goes, you're babies, you're babies, we've got her a limo, we've got her air, portable air conditioning system we invented for her, I mean, so we're, um, and she was, you know, quite, um, quite the star. So we had to really pay attention to Miss Davis. So uh, the, 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 the film was designed where um, the first two weeks was with her, and the last two weeks she was done. So we're down to the last day of shooting for her, and we're just saying blue sky. And um, it's real. We didn't realize how hot it was, but it was hot enough where your tennis shoes melted on the tarmac. We're at this little airport shooting these plane things. Anyway. We're out, it, was, it was the day before her last day, and she wasn't working that day. And this, this nice young guy from the uh, little funky office there at Rockwell Airport <laughs> says, Miss Williams, Miss Williams, there's a phone call for you, Miss, uh, Miss Davis, Miss Davis. Run in the office. I go, hello, Miss Davis. She goes, I can't, I'm not dying for you, blank, blank, blanks. Excuse me? I'm not dying for you, black, blank, blanks. Have you seen the paper? I pick up the paper. It says, like, 10 people over 70 have died from heat, stroke. <laughs> She goes, she goes, I will be out there with the thermometer tomorrow morning. When it hits 100, I am walking. I want the entire airport topped. Click. <laughs> I go out to Ron. I go, Ron, I'm I go, Ron, cut it, cut it, Ron. We got a problem. I tell him the story. He goes, ah, oh, geez, okay, we'll bring two crews in. We'll do this. We'll get camera. We'll shoot, all, we'll shoot her out early. And it kind of like really had to like redesign the whole thing because it wasn't, you know, just to get her done. And then tarped the air. we tarped her head. So she comes in with a thermometer. With a thermometer, and puts it there. It's 100 degrees at 7.30 a.m. You know what I mean? <laughs> so anyway, we're shooting through, we're shooting this thing, we're shooting this thing, we're shooting this thing. It's 100, and she, she doesn't leave, she finishes it. We get her done before lunch. Thank you, Ms. Davis, it was wonderful. Thank you for doing it. She goes, oh, I can't leave. I must do my off-camera for my fellow actors. What? What? Stay till we wrapped. Stay till we wrapped. Everybody thinks she's like so wonderful, but me. <laughs> uh huh. Had presents for everybody. She was, and then I thought, man, is she smart? We look like the idiots. <laughs> she goes off. They're applauding as she's leaving. They're applauding. I'm just going, okay, I just think, I think I learned a lesson here. I'm not sure what I learned, but I think I learned a lesson here. <laughs> so I don't know. That's a story. That's a good story. I love that. 
thank you so much. You I, bet. I had a great time. I thank you. Too. I did. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and thanks to my guest, Anson Williams. Now, since this interview was done, Anson has gone on to do even more directing, creating new TV series, and becoming an entrepreneur, creating life-saving products like Alert Drops. Till next time, thanks for watching, and if you want to see more of these conversations, help us out by subscribing and even perhaps contributing to our Patreon campaign. I'm David Levin. We'll see you next time.